Hello, it's time to play some dominoes. Let's play pips. We'll start with the easy difficulty. Okay, oh, look at this. We've got three tens. All right, well, over here, the ten needs to be a single domino, so it must be the two fives. Uh, the one pip cannot... Well, no, actually, no, sorry. The one pip could be used to make a ten, and actually, I think it will. It'll be six, one, and three. The five goes into the other ten, and then the other five makes up the ten. There we go. Okay, this is another one we could have, in theory, figured out by adding up the total number of pips and then subtracting 30 from it, because that was the um, total quantity of the regions, we would have then been left with four, and we would have then known that a four needed to go there. I guess that would have been the, the sort of shortcut to solving this, although who cares? All right, we'll move on to the medium. Let's try that. Okay, we need to put a one here, but we have plenty of options for the one, although it needs to go into an equivalence region, so it won't be the one zero. Could it be the one one? It's, you know, no, it actually couldn't be because then we would need a total of five ones in the puzzle, three for the equivalents and two more for the one regions. And we don't have that many ones. So it can't be one zero. It can't be one one. Uh, could it be one two? Yes. And in fact, I think it has to be um, because the only other option is one four and that we don't have three fours. So one two goes in there. So now we need twos um, poking out of here. And also, we need an equivalence region in a single domino, which is either two ones or two twos. Um, I don't think it can be the two ones, but let's also look at this seven. So we need a two pointing down into it. We can't use the double two because then we'd need a five on the other end of the seven. So it'll be the two three with a four on the other end. So that goes here. Um, and yeah, okay. I was going to say we didn't, I don't think we could use the two ones for the equivalents because I think that'll overload our other areas. And I think that's true. I think we need the two twos here. The, uh, what was this one? Oh, this is the equivalence. Oh no, no, maybe I'm wrong because we need our other two to finish this equivalence. One, two, three. Oh, okay. Yeah. So we have double ones. No, this is wrong. This doesn't work. Sorry, I've made a mistake. Um, what did I do wrong? What did I, where did I make a mistake? I think this one, sorry about this. I think this one needs to be here. It can't be a four. Could it be a one? Could it be? Maybe, maybe that was wrong. Then we need two more ones. No, I, I was correct to say that that's impossible. I was correct about that, at least. Um, it can't be a four. We don't have enough fours. Okay, I think it does need to be a two. All right, so where did I go wrong? Then a two pointing into the seven. It can't be this one, because then we'd need a five to finish the seven, which we don't have, which means it has to be this one. I think so far this is all forced. Now, to finish the seven, we strictly need a four. That is, again, required. Now, the four region needs a total of three left. Oh, actually, no, and the two has to go here. That's also forced. I'm, st I'm, I'm in a stuck situation again. I'm, I'm doing something idiotic. I don't know what it is. Sorry about this. Sometimes I get into this pattern where I keep making the same mistakes and I can't, I can't see what it is I'm doing wrong. Um, the seven, the only way to make a seven in this grid, the only way is a four and a three. That is literally the only way it can be done. Because those are the only counts high enough to achieve it. Is there any way the, is it any way it goes like this? I don't see how this is possible ones. We'd need a double one up here. Oh, it is this. How did I make, how did I think this was wrong? Why did I think this was wrong? I must've been miscounting the ones. This is correct. I kept miscounting the ones right from the beginning. Sorry about that. That was horrible. Okay. Bad, bad solve. Let's see if I can do any better on the hard. Oof. All right, here we go. Um, 
Okay, we do need a one up there. We've got plenty of ones. The 12 needs to be two sixes. How many sixes do we have? Four, okay. Although it, it can't be a single domino. They need to be pointing outwards. So one needs to be pointing into the nine. One needs to be pointing out of the non-equivalence region because otherwise we would be stuck up in the upper left corner. So that is that. Oh, and then this, look at that. We've got zero. So we need four zeros. Two, three, four. We have five zeros in total. One of them will point into the five. Um, we have an equivalence region of four. What could that be made up of? Uh, it can't be zeros. It could be ones, conceivably. We have exactly enough ones for that with the one that's already spoken for in the upper left. Um, twos, we do not have enough twos. Threes, we do not have enough threes. Fours, we don't have any. Fives, we do have enough. And sixes, we don't because we need two of them for the twelves. So this will be either ones or fives over here. Um, how do I get started with this? I'm not sure. So the, the sixes are spoken, the two sixes are spoken for with the twelves. How else could we make the nine? One of them will need to be connected to the, the sixes and the twelves. Uh, actually, that means it can't be this one because we wouldn't have a four to make the nine. So it can't be a six, five. It can't be a 6-2 because we need a 7, which doesn't exist. It could be a... No, it couldn't be a 6-3. We've tried that already. Well, no, we haven't tried that, but yeah, we have, and it didn't work because we don't have a 4. Oh, okay. Wait. So... So it doesn't point down into the... It doesn't point into the... No, it needs to point into the 9. Sorry, I, I'm off today. This is this is catastrophic. It's a 6-5. It has to be a 6-5 because then there could be a 2. Okay, sorry. That's what it is. Um, and then we need another six pointing into the non-equivalence region. That's either a three or a two going in there. I'm not sure which yet. Oh, there's also this blank one, actually, now that I look at it. That could point into the non-equivalence. So the nine... Wait a second. No. We can't have a five pointing in there because we need a four. Sorry, I'm really off today. This is, this is abysmal. It can't be a two... It's a three, sorry, it's a three. And, the, and there's a six in the nine. I think I just was thinking the nine was a seven for some inexplicable reason. So the six and the three goes into the nine. The nine now needs another six. So there's another six spoken for. So two more sixes are spoken for between that cell and this 12. And uh, that leaves one six to use at some point somewhere. Um, not sure I can do any more with that right now. Uh, the other six points into the non-equivalence region. Yes, we saw that. Oh, and then we have, we have the equivalence down here. Is that situation different at all now? Uh, what were our options there? Ones and fives, I guess. I don't know if I think one of those is better than the other. If it were fives, we would need a double five which I think would need to go here. Then we'd need a five pointing down into the threes, which would need to be a blank. I'm just gonna give this a shot for a sec. Um, then we would need another five, which I think would have to be this one. I think if, if the equivalence is five, I think it basically needs to be this way. Um, that uses one of our sixes. Um, at this point, what can we do? We need ones. Uh, we could make the three this way, but I think that makes our equivalence region, or sorry, not equivalence region. Sorry, what am I saying? That makes our zero impossible, actually. Yeah, we have exactly enough zeros to fill this now. So we would need to do something like 0, 1, and 0, 2. Uh, yeah. And then we have 0, 3, and 0, 6, which would mean this 6 is the one that needs to go up into the 9. Oh no, this is wrong. This doesn't work. 
because now we still need a six coming out of the 12, but that takes the last zero that we need. Sorry, okay, so I think my suspicion was wrong and we don't use fives in the equivalence region. I'm sure there's a better way to do this. Sorry about that. Um, so I guess it's ones that go in there. That is surprising to me. I did not expect that. I think this needs to be here then, if that's true. And actually we could have a one pointing across. We could either have one pointing across or down into the three. I'm not sure what the best way to do this is. There must be some logical inferences that I'm missing. Sorry about that. It's another long video. I'm, I seem to be performing very badly at this game recently. Um, let's see here. Well, we still need four zeros. How many of those do we have? We have five. So we have to be careful with them. And probably one of them will need to be used in the three. If not, if it didn't, we'd need three ones, which we can't do actually, because we'll need some for the equals. So, okay, so there will need to be a zero somewhere in the three. So all five zeros are then spoken for if this is real, which means this one pointing up can't be the one zero. It'll have to be something else. It'll have to be one three or one two. So how do we make the three in that case? could be this one zero pointing down and then, well, actually, what about if it's one two pointing down because I wanna preserve our zeros and then, no, that doesn't, no, that does work because then we could have a one zero here. No, that doesn't, that doesn't work. We need it, we'd need a double zero if that were true. So the zero, we do need a zero pointing down into the three here, which means a one pointing down. No, this still would require double zero at some point. So maybe we do need a one zero pointing down. And then maybe something like a two one pointing up and then, no, that also doesn't work. I feel utterly inept. Maybe the, maybe the ones are not the equivalence region after all, and I just made a mistake before. Sorry about this. How does this work? We don't have any double zeros. Um, Let's see. So if the equivalence is five, is there a way to make that work? Oops. Um, This would need to be here. Then this would need to be here. I'm, I'm worried I'm creating a, oh, well actually, five would need a two. And then the other five, our last five would need to go here. Oops. And then this six would need to go here. No, this is broken now again. This is this is catastrophic. I think the only thing I'm reasonably certain about is the six three up here. I think that was the only thing we could do there. Because the six does need to be pointed into the nine. And it couldn't be six zero. It can't be six two. If it were six foot, no, it can't be six five because we don't we don't have a four to finish the nine. So that's correct. I think this is all about just like ensuring that we've reserved enough of these various halves for all the different things we need to do. And I'm just doing a very poor job of getting there. We also still need to reserve a one for up there. 
if this weren't an inequivalence region, we could do some some sort of mathematics to do some arithmetic to figure out how many pips go in the blank cells, but we can't because we don't know what the inequivalence region means. We don't know what it's equal to. I wonder if we could still force it. I'm not going to do that just yet. Okay, we need four zeros for this region here. We need one, two, three sixes. So there's we have one six to work with only left. We have no double zeros, so everything of the zero is pointing out into something else. That's also important. And I guess in theory, the zero doesn't need to be pointing into the inequivalence region, actually, now that I look at it. Because we can have one going here, one sort of vertically here, another horizontally here, then here. Yeah, so we don't actually need to connect those. I don't know if that helps me at all. Um, okay, zero five is interesting because it can't point in here. I don't think it can point into the five because I think that's going to ultimately constrain us too much with the zeros. Um, it could point up. Oh, this is a catastrophe. Uh, 16 minutes. This is ridiculous. Uh, I don't know why. There's no way anyone's still watching this. I'm going to have to try something. I'm just going to have to go for something and see what happens. I still want this to be the fives. Uh, whoops. Um, do let me know what obvious thing I'm missing here. Um, let's see. Zero two or zero three could be either one of those in theory. Um, this five would have to be here then. Uh, let's see. Six two or six blank could be either of those, I guess. We still need a three. Um, oh, is this just going to work now? Ugh, terrible, terrible solve. So I, yeah, I must have, I just must have been missing some obvious ways to be thinking about this. Apologies for that. I mean, it's tough because I was so concerned about having enough zeros and ones, and yet, look, some of them just went useless places. <laughs> they just went in places that didn't mean anything ultimately connecting on the upper right here to the nine and the lower left to this three or to this five region. It's just, yeah. Okay. I didn't think about that. Well, apologies. Uh, let's, we'll try again tomorrow. See if I can do any better back tomorrow. Bye for now.